Okay, so we got premium economy and we get to use this VIP line. I don't think we talked about this yet, but we decided to spring for premium economy. It's a long flight, it's almost 16 hours to just get to our first layover, so we treated ourselves for an additional, I think, $400 per person. But all the flights that we got were on sale, so it was really, really the same price we would have paid for a regular ticket. We got more coffee. That's right. So we're on a Asian Airlines. So Asian Airlines sandals. Oh 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 and a shoe horn. Okay, so we're in the waiting area. We landed and uh, as per Chinese customs, they're gonna scan our bags to make sure they're good. So we're in the waiting area to get into uh, the transfer flights. We just popped our Chinese sims in and they work. Getting all the messages. Also, our flight was really awesome. It was 15 hours and it felt literally like it flew by. Probably because our seats were very comfortable and we were able to sleep. Yeah. Uh, one more thing about these sims, they seem to bypass all, any firewalls. We haven't turned the VPN on yet and I'm getting all the messages, so... We'll see if it lasts though. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good purchase so far though. We are officially through customs and on our way to our next gate, we just have to figure out what gate it is. And find some coffee. Yes, coffee is key. So as we're walking through the airport, I keep asking Andy if this store has coffee, if this store has coffee. And I asked him, does this store have coffee? And his response? No, it's a foot massage place. Fail. And I ordered it in English. As we're sitting here waiting for our flight, um, we noticed some um, man trying to take pictures of us. And if you uh, haven't seen it, check out our Beijing video where this also happened. <laughs> so he was trying to do it inconspicuously, but it wasn't very inconspicuous. Yeah, it's like a, this like lion stalking a gazelle <laughs> or the Serengeti, but not very well. <laughs> So at the end of it, Andy invited him over to just take a picture. And of course, he comes over and tries to mime his way through and I speak Chinese to him. And guess what? Of course, he doesn't realize that I speak any Chinese. So I had a huge discussion with him about where I came from, why I know how to speak Chinese, and if I understand Cantonese. So something fun we're going to do through this trip is we're going to keep tally of how many times we're stopped for a photo. So day one, one time so far. <laughs> and we're going to try to vlog it. <laughs> All right, peace out.
we finally made it to our hotel and it's pretty freaking fancy. It's been 20 some hours. We've been on planes, cars, taxis, and now we're here. It, it's, uh, this place is about uh, 45 minutes out of the city. We uh, were lucky. Some guy came up to us and he was like, taxi? I'm like, why yes sir, we are looking for a taxi. <laughs> uh, and then uh, he didn't go with the meter, but it cost us around 300 uh, RMB to, be, uh, to get here, which is about twice as much as what other people were saying. But then I checked on the app, I checked on the app and he was, he said about the same as like 250, 300, so. Plus we did ask him before we left the airport how much approximately it would be. And he did say 300 and he didn't try to up that, so. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we, Paid a little bit extra, but he got us here safe and sound. No detours, no BS. So we're very happy with that. 